If I had any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. You should not have come to this, old friend. Take this, and fly to Odin's Hall. Whatever you sought in this life, may you find it in the next. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath. And this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unmanaged. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you. And I will burn the fields and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That, that is my oath. That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl, as I promise. You lived as you died, proud and defiant. I cannot begrudge you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend. But I remember them well. to you. How do you feel, Eivor? I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik with Lufina and Hjor's aid. And should we ever need theirs... They will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. I want to see the Alliance map.
What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Message has come. I should talk to Hytham about my next targets. I should talk to Hytham about my next targets. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another Skald come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no Skald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You must understand that Eivor has more enemies than friends in Mercia, Lord. Before I drag you off by your knob to meet him, I'd like to know your name. Yes, forgive me. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. 
But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah, you are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. I'm sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. Jovik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I've found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I will speak with Randry, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? I have to go. Then go in peace. Landry, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. I want to see the Alliance map. I have changed my mind. I should go.
Show me. This is Hunwald's safe haven. Hunwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come, sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunvold. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose. You are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunvald, I don't know your friend here, and not knowing him, I don't trust him. I'm his voice of reason, Eivor. And I've told him a thousand times it's too dangerous for him in Lincolnshire. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Have you ever seen a blood eagle, my Saxon friends? A what? A blood eagle. A raw, magnificent bird I'll tear from your guts. First, I crush your ribs. Then I pull out your lungs and stretch them into wings, so you can fly to your heaven as fast as possible. Jesus fucking Eden. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. I told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to?
Jesus! He brought a bloody Dane! They say oh, it's the same oh, they they in down. Down. Picked up our trail. Hold on. I must continue as you were before. And if I should inspire, avenge me. Will some eat I live! I am alive! Heaven have mercy! Are you hurt? Unbelievable! The Battle of Buttlefston will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar! We have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive of me to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? No! What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death. Hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No, I suspect... Picked up our trail. Hold on. The city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Over here! Got an intruder, man! So alien to me now. So harsh and unwanted. Fear not, Lincoln. I shall make you mine again.
Hunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Who took the Elderman? Was it soldiers or men of God? There were men with swords, and those of the cloth. And a healer, too. One who had oft been a guest in this house. Galwina. One of the sisters my father put great faith in. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Great crowds will gather soon. And foul deeds are brewing. Soldiers can feel it too. Rolling their eyes. That's them being horses, mate. Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. Meet you! Picked up our trail. Hold on. Seems a good place to trade. Does it? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and the field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Picked up our trail. Hold on. This is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boon was ours as well. How often did you leave your house in Oh, from time to time. Yes. should have sent forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm.
I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin... I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Our coming here has nothing to do with you. This is a matter between the boy and his father. I disagree. Everything this boy does concerns us. He's the son of our elderman. I all but raised you, lad. Bounced you on my knee and taught you scripture. So when I tell you we don't know where your father is, nor why he left our hospice in his ailing state, it's because we don't know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Picked up our trail. Hold on. Thunwald's yeah. ah. father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Of our trail. Hold on. Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Are you the head sister? Please, don't hurt me. These poor souls need me. Calm, sister. Lord Hunwald sent me. He asked me to speak with the people here. Hunwald? That's not a name I expected to hear again. No harm will come to you or those you care for. 
I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. up our trail. Hold on. Our tunnels, if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way they'll leave us be. They killed one of their own. What's this? Picked up our trail. Hold on. These tunnels run deep. Was the Ultiman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln?
fighting here? About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. Noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed this way. I know a lonely door that would love to meet this king. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off, but he got away headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. Ah, oh, fresh air. 